there's not enough funding for the courts, it becomes more inefficient for all practitioners, judges, advocates, uh, individuals that are relying on the court system. It's not a service, it's not a luxury, it's uh, an essential constitutional right. Access to justice is a critical part of the American system, and if you don't have that, we don't have the kind of democracy that we thought we needed, so we need the funding. If we cut the budget for the state judiciary, we threaten access to justice for the most vulnerable people that go to our courthouses every day. It's a critical need. It's desperately underfunded now, and any cut will only wreak havoc. You cannot have democracy without an independent judiciary. So cuts would come at the worst possible time given the downturn in the economy. People rely on this third branch of government for a core function, and that is the delivery of justice that's fair and impartial. And I think the sufficient funding is necessary in order to make sure that families uh, and individuals get the relief they need. To maintain uh, the processing of civil cases, otherwise courts are closed. Courts need to be efficient, they need to be responsive. People will be stuck in the system for too long. People need quick resolutions, and that's not going to happen if we don't get funding. To preserve access to justice to those of modest means. It's at the core of our constitutional system of justice, and it's a bedrock important value that we hold in the Commonwealth, and we need to protect it. To ensure that people have uh, their rights vindicated and their disputes resolved. Our society really depends on the rule of law. Speedy justice for all is, is the bedrock of uh, the justice of our society. For women who are in battery situations and domestic violence situations, because they need